image. RPC 185's habitat before an instance of containment. Note the tilled soil at the bottom of the hillside. Registered phenomena code. RPC 185. Designation. Digged and dug. Object class. Beta red. Containment protocols. All colonies of RPC-185 are to be contained at Site-065 and are to be fed live prey weighing over 40 kilograms weekly. RPC-185 colonies are to be kept in separate biospheres, two kilometers away from each other. No anomalies with psychic traits are allowed anywhere near RPC-185 colonies. In lieu of further sightings within the northwestern United States, MST Tango 7 has been divided into various detachments to observe and track instances of RPC 185. Assigned personnel are to retain the identity and attire of construction workmen until the acquisition of all instances of RPC 185. Description RPC 185 is an anomalous species of burrowing animal. Instances superficially resemble small blue earthworms, approximately 5 cm in length and 4 mm in diameter. RPC-185 exhibits a carnivorous diet as well as extreme aggression, therefore requiring continuous sustenance. RPC-185 is telepathic. It operates with other members of RPC-185 to form a collective hive mind colony. RPC-185 will proceed to utilize a collective mindset through proximity between other instances. This, in turn, augments their predatory and sensory capabilities to effectively function as a singular, durable organism. Instances of RPC-185 in a colony vary, but they can be anywhere from 50 to over 700,000. Larger instances are capable of causing catastrophic property and structural damage. RPC-185 hunts in two methods. RPC-185's primary method of consumption is the subterranean scavenging of deceased or dying organisms. RPC-185 detects said organisms through physical contact before proceeding to emerge from the ground and consuming it. When consuming prey in this manner, RPC-185 will eat everything except for select parts of the prey's nervous system. RPC-185's second manner of hunting consists of stalking its live prey until they tire or stop from exhaustion. Following this, RPC-185 will secrete a chemical that is not yet fully understood, which causes the ground underneath the prey to collapse. This immobilizes the prey in the earth, allowing RPC-185 to consume most of the organs. The chemical produced by RPC-185 has partial mimetic effects. Testing with CSD has revealed that being in a 30-meter vicinity of the chemical without being aware of its existence results in the subject experiencing emotions and thoughts the subject would typically enjoy. These effects increase proportionally in relation to how close the subject is to the chemical, though they immediately cease once the subject is actually aware of the chemical. RPC-185 exhibits an inconsistent life cycle. During the first quarter of autumn, Individual instances will be released from their colonies and crawl up tall grasses and other thin plants, waiting for consumption by herbivores. Once eaten by the herbivore, RPC-185 itself eats the herbivore from the inside and produces several thousand eggs, which hatch in the late spring. The eggs then hatch and consume the prey's organs for sustenance before violently being expelled from the body. This reproduction cycle is extremely devastating if left unchecked, which has noticeably caused a large impact in the Holocene extinction event in North America. Discovery RPC-185 was reported and discovered after multiple rumors started to spread about man-eating holes in multiple U.S. states. MST Tango 7 investigated these reports and found no trace of anomalous entities in most states, but did discover multiple RPC-185 instances in... Redacted. The colonies were successfully baited with deer, captured, and brought to Site-065 for containment. Addendum 5-12-20 RPC-185 successfully breached containment in Biosphere. Procedure trimming the herd is to be enacted in Northwestern where the local deer and coyote populations are to be fed alternative parasitic worms which feed on RPC-185 in order to stall its reproduction.
MST Tango 7 is to place these worms on certain plants in these regions and check for gaping holes or freshly unturned soil.